Hello, I'm Leroy with Around My House, and in a previous video, we made smit mushrooms uh, with a bowl and a styrofoam cup for the stem. In today's video, we're going to decorate the mushrooms uh, by painting them with acrylic paint. So here's three mushrooms we had previously made, uh, but before we paint one, I want it to go over the manufacture a little bit. So, as you saw in the previous video, we agitated the cement to get the air bubbles out. Now, depending on how much agitation you do, you get various amounts of air bubbles out. So this one obviously wasn't very good. We didn't get too many bubbles out. But you can still, uh, you wouldn't want to paint this, but I'm going to make another video on how to do uh, another type of decoration. Um, this one right here, we agitate at the top quite a bit, and um, it's nice and smooth. But we didn't really agitate the bottom any, and it's got big air pockets. Um, now this necessarily isn't a problem. You can, um, you actually can use this as an effect. Um, I was showing some people this, and they're like, ah, oh, I like those big holes in it. It kind of adds texture to that. So this one's probably a good one for painting. And then we can maybe um, do a little highlighting uh, various shades of color in there to uh, get some interesting effects. This is kind of a medium one. We uh, went and agitated it enough to get most of their bubbles out. And this part's pretty good too. Um, and in addition, I made some spokes around here to get a little effect there. So those are some of the effects you can do on your mushroom. So um, I think we're gonna go ahead and um, maybe paint this one right here, uh, since it's kind of a nice medium one. Alright, so now we're going to put on a primer coating and we're going to use uh, Glitten Gripper. It's a water-based uh, acrylic paint. Um, any uh, water-based acrylic paint would work. Uh, this one uh, is multi-surface, so it should work pretty good with the cement. And the first thing we want to do is uh, wet down the cement. Now cement is porous. It'll suck in water. If we uh, put a thick coating of paint on, it's um, not really going to pull into the cement as much and uh, could potentially peel off. So we want to start by just wetting this down. And you can tell by the white I've already uh, painted one. So I got a little paint in the water. And we're just uh, get it, slop it on there, get it all nice and wet. So, we're going to start with it upside down like this so we can get the paint on there more easily. We're going to take some of our paint. And just work it in. And you might see uh, some little bubbles popping up. Uh, it's like the air trying to escape out. Uh, that's perfectly normal. 
and that's actually why we're trying to keep the paint kind of wet is so that it really soaks in a little bit so it's not just on the surface So now that we got it primed, we'll just let it uh, dry, and we'll come back and uh, finish painting it. All right, now that our primer has dried, we're going to go ahead and paint the top part here. And I'm going to use uh, Deltec uh, Ceramic Coat uh, Acrylic Paint uh, Fire red. So I'm going to go with uh, red with, with white uh, dots. And so get started here. Put a little red paint in. Now because I'm not particularly good on freehand. <laughs> I'm going to uh, use this cup to kind of help me out here a little bit. We'll just put the cup there. And, uh, paint around. Now we just uh, fill in the gaps there. So once you've uh, got it painted, you know, let it dry, and you might want to come back and do another second coat uh, since there's a little white poking out um, underneath the red there. Alright, so our paint has dried, and um, I was thinking of uh, painting the stem a different color, but I decided I kind of like the white, so we're just going to finish up. So what we want to do is take some um, some uh, satin uh, varnish, uh, and uh, this will give it a UV coating. And once again, this is ceramic coat uh, by Delta. And so we're just going to take. Oops, uh, let's make sure we shake that up good. And put some in our our cup. And we'll just take this and just spread it on here. Just coat it good. And it's in a dry clear. All right, so that's covered pretty good. We'll let that dry a little bit and then do the bottom.
All right, so now we'll just let that dry. All right, so we have completed um, painting our mushrooms. So uh, give it a try. Let me know how it turns out. And uh, please like my video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Till next time.